HTML tags should be nested in a proper order. In our case, we have here an ordered list that has a class name of nav. And within this element, we have a list that has a class nav item. And for the last element, we have a hyperlink that has a class of nav link. And at the same level, we have a paragraph tag. So in this case, nav will be considered as a parent or as the parent of nav item. Nav item is considered the parent of nav link and the paragraph which resume two levels of deepness. If we decide to change the color of nav link, we should go level by level. Let's write that in CSS and then we'll move to SAS. Okay, we we'll start with the first parent nav, then the first child of nav, which is nav item, then the last element nav link, which is the nav item child. So we have here two levels. Let's change the color of this hyperlink to red. What if you want to change this paragraph color too? Then we have to rewrite the same code. Let's copy this nav nav item, then add the paragraph selector and set the color to blue. We repeat this nav nav item and we have to repeat it every time we need to change the style within the parent nav. Let's copy this code from the CSS file, pass it into the test file and comment about. I will now have to run the test command from my terminal to begin the SAS preprocessing. All right, in SAS, we can simplify this line by nesting our selectors. So we'll go first for the parent nav, then we use curly brackets to wrap around the first child nav item. Then we'll go deeper into the nav link and set the color property to red and give it a save. The links have no red. And as we see here, once we hit save, we have a new generated main.css file on the CSS folder. And this nested code here generate this code, simple as that. Now, if you want to change the color of the paragraph elements like in the CSS code, let's first check the position of the paragraph element within the HTML file. Each paragraph is at the same level as the hyperlink element nav link. We now have to add the p selector here at the same level at nav link. Then add the property color and set its value. And from the generated CSS file, we see here that we achieved the same result with without rewriting the same code. So this code here is more structured than this one. Here, the nav item is nested within the brackets of nav selector and nav link is nested within the brackets of the nav item. Not like in plain CSS, when all our arguments are tied to the context of the specific selector chain. All right, let's remove these comments. Let's see here in our HTML page, we have an element that has two classes. And if you want access to this specific selector, we need to tie these two classes, nav link, active in plain CSS. But to access to this active, we have first to go through each parent, nav, then nav item. And we set a color. To achieve the same result with SAS, SAS introduced a new selector, the parent selector dented by an ampersand. The ampersand is like a variable that represents the parent selector. All right, if we move the selector active inside the nav link, it will be considered as a child of nav link. However, it is not the case. They are both at the same level as we see in the HTML page. And as we already mentioned, that we need to use the ampersand to represent the parent selector, let's add an ampersand here. Voila, we have an active link. And this is what the CSS file is generating. So anytime you have two classes at the same level and you have a modifier like this active, you will have to use the ampersand character. We can also use the ampersand to access to the pseudo classes. As an example, let's use the hover pseudo class for the nav link element and set the color to brown. Sorry, I'm messing with the colors. Anyways, now if we hover over the links, we see the color change to brown. And this is what generated within the CSS file. We can also use active or any other pseudo class. Feel free to test some of them. Let's remove this active here. What if changing the background color of this navigation is dependent on the page we are using? Okay, to simplify that, let's imagine that on each page we visit, we have a specific class attribute 
attributes name at the body tag. Let's set that to home. All right, the normal way to achieve that is using basic nesting rule. So we'll go for home as the parent and nav as the child. And we set the background color to light gray. Then if we move to the services page, we want the class to change to services. We have to go for a service as the parent and nav as a child too and set the background color to black. So we change the background color of the nav element depending on the class at the body tag. We go again, home and services. But the code here is a bit perif. We can simplify it by using the ampersand again within the nav selector. Let's comment about this code and fold the nav item. We can use the services class within the nav selector. Let's copy this background color to nothing change here but wait a minute services is not a child of the nav selector i know however once we add the ampersand after the services selector voila the background change as i already explained that the ampersand refers to the parent selector however this is applicable if the ampersand character is on the left of the selector once we move it to the right it will behave differently or in other words it behaves reversely and to have a clear idea let's take a look at this line services is considered as the parent even if it is nested within the nav selector and nav selector considered as the child let's do the same thing for the home selector same here home then we used ampersand at the right and we set the background to light gray and we change the body class from the HTML page to home Cool, we achieved the same results like this one, but in a more organized way. Let's remove this comments and unfold the nav item. This ampersand can also be used to compound selectors for your CSS. We can append parts of a class name by using the ampersand as a prefix. Let's use it here for the nav item and replace the selector nav by the ampersand. If we take a look at the generated CSS file, we will see that we are having here nav item selector. This gives us the power of nesting our selectors without writing long selectors names. And the last thing before you become a master of nesting selectors, we can also use namespaces to nest some specific properties like the background that can be broken down to sub properties. Okay, I stopped talking. Let's see that in real example. So let's remove this background color property and we'll use background instead, which will be considered as a root property. Then we open the curly brackets again and we nest the child property color and we set the value light gray. You can define other background effects like image, repeat, attachment, or position. Let's remove all of that and apply the same thing to services. This will be applicable for any namespaces properties like margin, padding, or border. Cool. No, you are the master of nesting selectors.